All right, so it's the 10th of uh, June today. Oh, my microphone filter's in the way of the camera. So, here it, here it is. This is the last, at the time of recording, Shrek film. But obviously, you know, where's that, where's that Shrek 5? Obviously, it's being in production hell for not as long as Puss in Boots The Last Wish was, but it's getting close to it. But uh, here is Shrek Forever After, 4K Blu-ray, and in the UK this is only available as a limited edition steelbook. We don't get the standard editions for some reason, so when these steelbooks, you know, sell out, that's it, it's gone. Uh, but, so, to those who live in the UK like I do, if you want this, I get on it now rather than wait. You could also import the US uh, version of this, which is exactly the same, and both discs are region free, so, you know. But uh, yeah, also, the UK gets scale books. The US doesn't. I don't know why. But the US ultimately wins because uh, their DreamWorks films come out on 4K Blu ray, whereas in the UK, for example, the bad guys only got a DVD release. Puss and Books The Last Squish only got Blu-ray and DVD, no 4K, so, you know, they're still winning in that case. But yeah, here we go. Uh, we never got the first Puss and Books film on 4K Blu-ray in the UK either. That's uh, got a standard release in the US, but uh, no release at all over here, so here it is. Um, I just love that they've chosen this sort of generic Shrek uh, basically PNG to put on it. Like the rest of it kind of fits, but uh, yeah, it's just interesting that they've decided on that one. I don't know why. But uh, this is the artwork and that that you get on the US version. Let's try and peel that off. There we go. There's the back. Not particularly interesting. I'm not going to completely peel off there. Uh, a bit of paper because it has all the information and that on it. But as you can see there, it is just reusing basically the same disc and that from uh, the US one, which isn't a problem for the first, second, and fourth. Uh, sorry, the first, third, and fourth Shrek films. It was a problem for Shrek Two because uh, the UK had a slightly different uh, dub. For example, um, the most famous example, Jonathan Ross plays the ugly sister in uh, Shrek 2 UK, whereas in the US one, um, it was, oh, I've forgotten his name, forgotten his name, the guy with the bracelet, he passed away, what is his name? I'm going to remember immediately after this video, but it meant I had to basically um, do my own version where I took uh, the Blu-ray audio from the UK one and uh, basically match it up and that so I could get it in 4k for that one so yeah Larry King there we go that was his name but yeah there's the inside artwork and that in this so yeah happy to have this on 4k Blu-ray and also uh, this is the only way you can individually get Shrek Forever After on Blu-ray now in the UK. There is a DreamWorks, uh, I think it's 40 film box set where you can get it. But otherwise, there's no other way to get it. So even if you wanted Shrek on Blu-ray, this is the only way to get it. And it's a pretty decent price, to be honest. I think it's £25, if I remember rightly. So, yeah, do highly recommend it. So, there we go. And uh, here's hoping, you know, uh, the rest of the Kung Fu Panda films also get Steelbook releases here in the UK. Because not only is it cheaper, and that for me, you know, I don't have to pay him for, and I do like Steelbooks. Uh, the opposite thing happened with Rango, where Rango only has a Steelbook currently in the US, whereas it's getting uh, a standard edition only in the UK. So, yeah, basically, though they generally with important that. They generally round about the same price, maybe a couple of quid difference a lot of the time, so go nuts.